uh, it, you know, it's a lot of people just kind of wander out, have their cigarette and stuff like that. I'm giving you maybe 15 minutes to just go grab another drink and go use the restroom because I have front stage shows. So while the bands are changing out, curtain drops, you're going to get a live performance, whether it's going to be burlesque, whether it's going to be belly dancing, or you don't even know some of the surprises I have coming out for this one. <laughs> but it's to reintegrate and re-network everyone in the art scene of New England. Well, we, we've worked together, actually, at a freak fest over at uh, Coliseum. <laughs> so tr- trust me, it's going to be hard-pressed to shock me, but I'm definitely bated breath waiting for this show. Of course, Tony Jones and I will be, I, I think it's hosting? Or yeah, yeah, co-hosting. Co-hosting? Yeah, because I'm a not, I'm, it, it's, it's my birthday weekend. We'll give that out there. So th- there's going to be a lot of offers given to me of uh, liquid beverages. So I'm, so I'm I'm using you guys as crutches as well. But also is to help promote all everyone who's a co-host also promotes all the stuff that they're working on throughout the year as well. Cool. Well, I, I got to say, I, I always enjoy working with you, even when we just run across each other at a show, because you always seem to attract a large group of very good looking women. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna call it gonna call it what I see it, and, and they, I don't know whether it's you're paying them or <laughs> I, I don't know how that works. I'm broke, I, so can, that definitely not that. If you can bottle it, I definitely would know a few people <laughs> who would want to buy it. Actually, actually speaking of two lovely women, I have Lady <laughs> Fee and Chelsea Ray are going to be uh, my snow and heat miser uh, for the stage. They're going to help, like you know, drop the curtain, present things, and actually the body art that's going to be done on them is from Art on the Spot. So if you if you remember from Comic Con or a few other events, people that were like fully like airbrushed on with these crazy elaborate designs, a lot of it was uh, Kara Andrews' work over at Art on the Spot. And she's going to be there. She was uh, right across from one of the wrestlers or something. Oh yeah, she actually did demolitions makeup the next day. Well, <laughs> funny side story: um, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, it was who she was across from. Uh, I, I've known her for uh, well a couple of. Uh, couple of years now just through comic-con and seeing her around um she uh she and i were chatting and uh someone came up and said that they heard that million dollar man ted dibiase was being a real jerk to and and they use a lot more colorful language uh to a lot of the people and it was on facebook and she was just bringing up in conversation her face got very very solemn Mm -hmm. she kind of pointed to the left and she said he's sitting in my chair right now (laughs) So, yeah, it was and a, he was not laughing. <laughs> no, no, he, it was a little uncomfortable. But then I realized if he got up too quick, he'd probably break a hip, and I wouldn't have to worry <laughs> about it anyways. So why don't we take a break here? Um, when we come back, we'll recap a few things because I mean we're we're running really short on time. Uh, we're gonna leave here with the beautiful bodies. The name of the song is Invincible. We'll be back in a minute. Yeah, thank you. 
Welcome back, my night outers. That was the beautiful bodies, Invincible. Uh, we've been talking with Crimson all night. Uh, I, I do have to ask you one one last, maybe not as important question right now, but it will be important as time goes on. I'm starting to sweat now. Oh, <laughs> is, no, no, this is this is an easy one. What are you doing New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve. I'm actually going to be, uh, I don't want to disclose locations, but a... Uh, a private uh, party. Yeah, it's a private party at a certain roller derby referee's house who has a nice hot tub and is always fun times. And he actually has a machine. It's an electronic uh, liquor device that you can actually just spin a wheel like Wheel of Fortune and it'll make your drink with the mixed drinks and everything into one. Uh-huh. And all it's missing is the voice from Fifth Element saying, do you want another? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yes. I, I do have to pick up some local events that uh, you may or may not have already heard about. Uh, as you know, Consuelo's Avenge, Revenge, the Dust Ruffles, High Plains, and Quahog Choir Mummers are at the parlor uh, right here at Rhode Island Free Radio. We are doing our annual uh, New, Year's, New Year's Eve marathon. I'm going to start around 8.30 with some music. Uh, going to take off from there. It's going to go to about 12.30, give or take. Uh, let's see how long we last. And you know, it, it, it may be one of those last man standing uh, set of playlist type nights, but we'll see what happens with that. Also, don't forget, we have uh, the 2015-2016 New Year's Eve party over at dusk. Um, also, a reminder for those of you who do not already have your Lord of the Wings uh Passports purchased. You definitely want to check that out. That starts January 1st. And also don't forget, uh, Rhode Island Food Fights has the best grinder in Rhode Island starting February 1st. You want to get your tickets ahead of time because it's definitely going to take you a full month to hit all the places on those passports. So with that being said, George, Tony's been a pleasure as always. Krim. I always love seeing you, brother. Uh, anytime you got, you want to come down, hang out with us, you're more than welcome. Uh, we're going to leave here with, uh, let's see, Avox Blue. Have you? I haven't seen, heard them in a while. Avox Blue, the name of the song is Connection Lost. You've been listening to My Night Out Radio. Uh, don't forget, if you want to get in touch with us, Radio at verizon.net. Have a good night, everybody.